how to play the new game mode Fortress because apparently a lot of people don't understand because I keep getting these teammates who are a little bit confused. So I'm going to break down a match. This is on most maps. Most maps are broken up, of course, into these three, zo three zones and two of these zones will be in the spawn. Here, your team spawns. Here, the enemy team spawns. Great. Nice. Now, first few seconds, enemy's going to go here, take this zone. Now, your team is going to rub here, take this zone. Sick, you might be asking. Uh, what now? Now, a lot of people, what I see them doing, is I see them going off, and they start going like this way, or they start going like, like this way, maybe get a snipe here, or some bull crap like that. And what these people don't understand is that you run right away, right away to the third zone. Because that is the contender zone, and that is what wins you matches. Not only, I'll get into that in a second. So, you're going to run to this zone, you're not going to get around going kills, because kills contribute literally nothing to the score. Kills do absolutely nothing to the score in Fortress. Absolutely nothing. So there's no point in just going out for kills, unless you're just trying to have fun. But let's be real, this video is for winning matches, not just having fun. And so you're going to go here, contest this zone. All, hopefully, if you're good, all of your team is here. Should be focused on this. And most of the time, the enemies will not be focusing only on this. They're going to go around trying to get kills. But if you're all here, then they're probably all going to be here too. You're going to fight about this. You're going to ignore your first zone. You're going to ignore your first zone. And you're like, oh, well, what if I protect it? What if somebody goes all the way around, pulls a sneaky fast one on us, and goes like right here? Well, that doesn't flip and matter, because first thing, he'll be capping very, he'll be capping this zone very, very slow. It'll take over a minute for him to start capping this, this shit. And it'll, and in that time, not only will people have died right here, people, because this is still your spawn, will spawn back here and attack him and hopefully win if more people spawn back, at least two or some shit like that. So that's safe. It doesn't matter. And you instantly get it back, because this is your spawn. Let's say it's not your spawn. You start spawning here. Doesn't matter because you'll start capping this one. These two zones are so irrelevant as long as they're capped the whole time by someone. And most of the time, it's one team. There's rarely ever in this game mode a team that has all zones. That is so r incredibly rare in this game mode. So you're going to focus this middle contender zone, and that is it for the start. That is absolutely it uh, on the start. And hopefully, maybe you got you got a bubble or something. Keep that. Do not pop that on B yet. And I'll tell Alright, now, once all that is done, and one of the teams reaches 40 points, hopefully your team, because you've been capping B, you're going to hold two zones always. Hopefully your team, once one team reaches 40 points, in the middle, a big cabal, not big one, but a, a somewhat large cabal zone is going to spawn. I'm just going to make this red. This is one of the, this is the most important zone in the game. I'm going to make it, I'm a, no, I'm not going to call it C. We're just gonna call uh, Cabal. I don't know. There's a Cabal face right here. This zone is the most important in the game, and the way it works is it, it it caps incredibly fast. It takes seconds to cap this zone. So what you're gonna do once it comes in, there's gotta be three turrets: one small one, another small one, and a big one. If you have any kill things, any like kill clip, Vex Mythical Class, Cryostesia, any kill clip weapons, kill these small ones, and you'll get your perk. Do that. Uh, to, to have a better chance at contesting this zone. If you already have a bubble, easy freaking peasy. Pop this right on there. Hopefully you're having Wither Horde. An enemy's gonna pop a bubble probably. It's gonna be a big fight. The main thing about this zone is it caps so incredibly fast. If you cap it and you see enemies running in and you know you can't just defend it and you're in a bubble, stay on it because they can't cap and you'll keep getting points even though more people, let's say there are a bunch of enemies here and you're in here, but it's your zone currently. It's going to stay your zone, no matter what, until you die and they start capping. They can only cap if nobody is on this zone, so nobody out of your team. And most of the time, the way it works, let's say there are no bubbles on zone. Absolutely nothing is on this zone, except this juicy smiley face, which we're also going to get rid of because it's annoying. If that happens, you're going to run in. The What the team has to do... Oh, wrong side. Your, your focus is to run in, because it takes seconds, cap this zone... And, and get the flip out of there. And then you're going to want to get the flip out of there. And then you're going to watch from far, far away and start guarding the zone. Make sure if enemies come, you fucking kill them right away. Get those bastards out of there. 
and hopefully you'll have zone control. And if not, if you can't hold it, because hopefully you're going to not use the bubble here. I'll tell you in a second why. And uh, hopefully you hold this, but this is more important than B and stuff. So if you have to and they start capping, pop a bubble rather than lose the zone. Pop a bubble rather than lose the zone, most definitely. So, once all that is done, it's going to go away. You're going to have a bunch of points because it gives so many points. Then, these bad boys are going to come back. We got B, oh, you know it. We got A, oh, juicy, and we got C. Oh my god, my art skills. Again, let's say the spawns didn't change. Team's going to cap this. Team's going to cap this. And you do the exact same thing like on the start of the round. Run to B. Preferably, some of your team goes to your A spawn. And then right from this cap point, you go right here, most of your team, to cap B right away because they will not see these bastards will not see that coming. Cap B. Boom. You're earning more points than them. Let's say you already capped this. You're already 60 up, 50 up, 40 up even. If you do this, if you do this, good. Even if you're solo, I've won so many matches. I have so, uh, so much to prove. But just now, I lost a match. That's why I'm doing this video right now to explain. Because the people in my match just went around killing things, which literally does nothing. So, when you're holding this, once another team, and this is very, very quick. So if you didn't pop a bubble anything, keep it for this next part. Once you've worked 80 points, which is way faster than the first zone, the Cabal zone will appear yet again. It's going to, oops. You want to be happy. It's going to appear yet again. Exact same thing. Kill little turrets. Then kill the big turret. But big turrets are always going to be last, basically. Little turrets get kill things. Kill clip, whatever. Prestige, doesn't matter. Something. Get 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 it off of it. And uh, uh, I also heard that uh, you can get like PvE shit from it. So like, uh, I don't know, war mines and shit. Wells. Uh, elemental wells, I mean. So do that. Exact same principle. Pop a bubble, maybe. If you, ha if you have a bubble right now, since this is, this is the last time this zone is going to come up, pop it on it. Most definitely pop it on it. If you have it already, and you see the enemies are very, very reluctant, and they're staying all the way back here, and they're not going for it, don't pop. Because you know you're just going to win this zone anyway. Again, go in, cap quickly, uh, cap quickly, get out again, uh, and then just stay all the way back here. And just chill out and watch the zone from far. Watch your points just go up. Once this zone goes again, goes away again for the second time, if you still have a bubble, pop it at B, and never at A or at C or at or at D, staying for dick. Pop it at B only because <coughs> oh sorry fuck I'm just yelling my ass off because B is the only one important in these last few seconds of the match because. One of these is going to belong to you, no matter what, because it's your spawn. You can't spawn just at B. You're going to spawn either here or here, so one of these is going to be yours. And then you already have it, then it's only about B. Only about B. Just B. Then you're going to cap, flip, and B, and that is it. You win the match, clean and easy. Hopefully you do this a bunch to get a streak, and that is just how you win a rift match. Ladies and gentlemen, this has been... Pink Pong Atlanta, uh, molding hard because my team doesn't know how to play uh, Iron Banner uh, Fortress. And uh, I hope that you can subscribe to me. This uh, is not, of course, a high quality video, but uh, it's also, I'm not, I'm not going off a of script. I'm literally just saying what I know, and I know this is right. This is the way to win because I've won so many matches, and I know because of that that this is the way to win. Uh, I hope you learned something today. Please use this strategy. If you're going to just play around with, like, you want to just get kills and you're like, oh, well, I don't care about winning, please don't play Iron Banner. Because I don't know reason, I don't know why you else you would be playing Iron Banner. Because the, the only reason to play Iron Banner is to rank up, and you rank up faster with wins. So you're going to want to go in Iron Banner and be competitive and want to win. So anyway, guys, uh, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I will see all of you guys in my next video, which will be another gun review and not something weird like this. See ya!